Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video is the first of the two video series I am making to demonstrate how we can remove actual data from the updated P6 program of works. So first we see why we need to remove actual from the updated program. So the, recently I am facing a condition that I received uh, the update of the approved baseline program from one of our contractor. The issue is here that uh, we need to know the status of the progress three months before. The three months before we don't have the approved baseline program the, and we don't have the approved BOQ. At that time we are using a program for monitoring and control purpose and this progress we cannot take as uh, authentic because the uh, awaited factor assigned and the cost assigned are not approved at that time. So we cannot uh, consider this progress as to be used for the to, to pay the contractor. So once I get the update, current uh, po updated program from the approved design program, uh, my uh, we I get a request that what is the status of the progress three months before as per this approved baseline program. So the first thing came in my mind is that I remove the actuals from this current updated program and then I take the update of this end of uh, three months before and then insert this into the approved baseline program. So this thing came in my uh, in my mind. So I will uh, appreciate if you give your comment that what will what uh, technique you are going to use here. So that's this is one of the reason I'm I face. So I try planning to make the video on this uh, issue, uh, those these topics. So as I explained just little before that there are several occasions we need to deprogress uh, or I remove the actual from the updated program of work. Now number one is that the baseline was not assigned at that time or baseline is not finalized at that time and the BOQ is not finalized at that time because the BOQ is not finalized so quantities are, quantities are not finalized and we cannot compute the resources and therefore we cannot assign the exact resources in the program of the work. We cannot assign the exact expenses in the program of the work and sometimes there is the change in the logic which need to be rectified so we cannot consider this three months program as a, uh, as a proof baseline or uh, to be used for to make some payment to the contractor. So once we are going to remove this actual uh, or de-remove, de-progress uh, de program, uh, program of work in P6, there are two methods we can use. There we can call it two cases. The first case is that the program is simple. Uh, what do you mean by simple is that the program is not cost and this program is not resource and expense loaded. So there is no resource and expenses there. So it's very easy. We just go to activities which are completed and in progress and change the status to not started activities. The case number two or the second case is that the program is fully resource and expense loaded. So in this case, again, you can you have two choices. The one choice is that you remove the resource assignment and expenses from the program and remove the actuals. Then once you remove the actual, then import the uh, expense and resource again inside the program. Or the second technique is that we are using the global check uh, uh, tool to remove the actuals data from the updated program. So this technique we will see in our next video after some some days I am making I am planning to make the video on the second topic. So this video is a uh, base for the program which uh, which, which are not as, as resource and expense loaded. So for the program the for which there is no resource and expenses are assigned is uh, to remove or ex uh, removing of actual date dates are is very straightforward and simple. Where just we are going to add a column for the activity status and then change the act uh, uh, status to from completed or not uh, or in progress activities to not started. So and then we use the fill down technique to uh, fill uh, this not started uh, information to the all the activities. So we will see this uh, little bit in detail. So once you go in view and click the column, the col column dialog box will come up. In the column dialog box, you go in the general tab. And once you go in the general tab, there is one you know, item which is called activity status. So just click on the activity status and then press the uh, up this right uh, arrow button. Then bring, or bring this uh, activity status to the right hand side. Then you can see the number of act columns you will see in the program of works. So in now, we will see this in detail in the prior program itself. Now we open the program of work. This program you can see here that uh, is a small program. And then we just remove the uh, bottom layout. Okay, you can see the small program here. We don't have much data. 
okay and then you can see that this uh in the active bar side there's a baseline is assigned to all the activities and the actual uh, progress is shown and here just we add the activity status column as i show you if you go into view and inside the view there's column bar just click the column bar and then just go inside the journal tab inside journal you will find the activity status just click the activity status and press this right button to add this activity status to the list here so you can see here that we have baseline duration origin duration baseline start finish and actual start finish and the status so just go into a status okay this is activity completed just click it and then select not started it will ask you confirmation that are you sure you want to change the activity status to the not started just confirm yes it will change it then all the activities which are in completed in progress just select or you can select all if you have too many activities just select all okay and then just go to the first column and then see fill down button just right click here i go again see I, I, you select the first activity and then you select the last activity and then go up and fill down so are you sure you want to change the status to notice started just say yes yes i am not sure why it is not asking asking for each activities we have more activities then it will take more time so in this case we better we can go import export into excel and we can assign all the started and come to not to not started and then bring it back import export in, in this case we need to use uh, import export and excel tool to do it fast because we have few activities so we just go uh, manually one by one okay you see it select all now all the activities you can see it is not started not started before we have few initial activities uh, the status was completed or on progress so once you do this one then just run the program again press f9 and our project commencement date is the 1st january so i can see, you can see it here and if you go in the file or in the project dialog box and select the program this is our program and go to journal in the journal you can see that project plan started is 1st january and data date is 26 february so we just go in the activities run the program again press f9 and once it is come then just select the uh, commencement date is 1st january select it and then run you can see that all the our this uh, current date and baseline now are, are aligned it means that there is no actuals and our baseline and current status same so i hope uh, it is helpful for you and you get some new ideas from this program and uh, you, it help you for in your future if you suffer some situation that we need to deprogress or remove actual from the program you can do it very easily just from the activity status or if uh, the program is expensed and resource loaded we need to do in two, two ways which i will going to show in the next video so if you like it please uh, consider subscription and please like share and subscribe our channel this video making of this video is to help our fellow in planning engineer to be good in their work and to help to get ideas uh, because this is this type of things we are getting in our day to day normal routine work so in this case i hope uh, you, you it will help you and uh, till next video uh, uh, thank you very much for your time again please don't forget to subscribe till next video thank you very much again see you again take care bye bye